saw the light go down on Baker Street. Don't know exactly where she wants to be. The last cigarette, broken fall. The race gonna be really soon. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video brand new vlog i thought i'd pick up the camera today i feel like it's been a while since i have renovated renovated <laughs> feels like a while since we've renovated since i've updated you on the renovations so i thought i would kind of the main focus for today be to bring you up to speed to things i'm at home today I'm home alone tom's actually at a funeral today he's had a few funerals the last couple of months which is quite sad and by myself i'm solo this morning we did go for a lovely rainy walk and i know that's a bit of a oxymoron for a lot of people well look at me throwing out the big words i feel like a lot of people would go a lovely rainy walk how is that possible but for me i just quite like it i needed to wash my hair and everything anyway so i thought get my waterproof on, get out, even though it was tipping it down this morning, and sod's law, the sun's come out now. So it was a drizzly morning, we had a nice long walk, nice long dog walk, myself and Barney, and got home showered, freshened up, got my comfies on, and um, yeah, I'm at home today. So I had a free Costa drink on the rewards app thing, so I popped across the road, we've got Costa not too far from us, popped over there and tried their new maple hazel latte and it's actually really good it is quite sweet but i think that hazelnut nuttiness kind of cuts through that sweetness of the maple it's really really nice mm. does taste like autumn so i thought i'd start today's video with a cherry's order cherry's haul cherry's unboxing i've got a few boxes here and if you're new to my channel and haven't heard me talk about cherries before i've worked with them previously work with them on a regular basis actually but i have put in my own orders with them in the past because they're essentially an online website or app i personally use the app where you can shop all of your kind of household essentials really affordable price points they've got lots of homeware lots of new in homeware bits for autumn which is very exciting and um they do like pet supplies kids things cleaning products basically it's your one-stop shop for everything that you need for your house. I just love having a good browse on their app. They've got a new in section, new in this week, which I constantly just keep updated with because especially the good finds, I feel like once they're added to the app, they don't last long. They're not there for very long. So I do actually have a code for cherries. If you want to put in your first ever order and you are brand new to cherries, you can use the code FF25 at checkout. That will give you 25% off your order as well as free shipping if you are already an existing customer you already love cherries just as much as i do then i have a code for you guys too which will get you free shipping off your next order and it is ff at checkout that's all you need to pop in i thought i would come in the bedroom because i've got some bits that i actually need to pop away up here first so i'm going to get everything out show you all the bits that i have ordered i did just want to firstly show you this side which i've just set up a little autumn scene here of some of their new and autumn home decor bits firstly this garland with these little mini felt pumpkins which are just the cutest thing ever and then i love this tin um sign locally grown farm fresh pumpkins and then we've got a pumpkin candle as well a velvet pumpkin and also some mini velvet pumpkins these would look good as a little trio in like a wooden bowl or something i just think they're adorable and then last but not least because everyone wants a white pumpkin mug this year cherries now has them they've got a whole section dedicated to halloween pumpkin carving kit they had this kit in other colors as well a little um dog toy for barney it does have a squeaker in it as well um a little banner i thought that'd be nice to pop out on like the porch or something on actual halloween and then again on halloween if we have any kind of scary horror film movie nights in the cinema room to have nice hot chocolate in this they had this in black as well actually 
and then this hanging bat decoration yet again I thought would look good um, for actual Halloween for trick-or-treaters then as for homeware they've got some amazing cozy new in bits which I couldn't wait to share with you firstly some cozy socks they've got loads of different colors I just got this three pack um, hot water bottles this long one is really nice to kind of like cuddle up with and then a standard water bottle as well and again they're so so soft and then I got one of these Sherpa hoodies I've got one of these already but I thought I would pick this one up for Tom so that we can both have one for movie nights and then he also will love this again down in the cinema room a weighted blanket he absolutely loves we used to have a weighted blanket and it got ruined in the move so he can have that and then I got myself a nice new cozy dressing gown how much of a resemblance does this have to Jo Malone it is from Elizabeth Williams London it's mimosa and cardamom fragrance oil now I love using an oil in my diffusers anyway and I love my favorite one of my favorite Jo Malone perfumes is mimosa and cardamom and I have had a candle from them before so I'm really intrigued to try that one out and see how it compares and then I got this four pack um, set of marble coasters then beauty bits I feel like I got the absolute steal of the century spectrum makeup brushes look at this entire set amazing value for money it was actually part of a disney collaboration that they did and then yeah just some hair accessories a little scrunchie and then i got some new clips i literally live in these all day every day these kind of hair clips so i stocked up on some of those just some scissors and some batteries and then for cleaning bits i quite like to buy bulkier items from cherry so i got some more kitchen roll i got this extra large pack of um fairy pods and then another one of these for mish pet hair dissolvers i use these all the time for barney's kind of towels and bedding and then some bin bags and then they've got they did a collaboration with well not a collaboration but they stock scrub daddy and they sent this out as a pr mailer so i thought i would include it within this kind of unboxing section just to share with you some amazing um scrub daddy essentials that they now stock So I've just laid out our new cozy additions on the bed ready for when Tom gets home. I think it'll be a nice cute thing to do to have him come home to. So I've popped out my dressing gown, some cozy socks, the hot water bottles and his blanket and snuddy over there. Tom actually made a ragu for in the slow cooker yesterday so I think I'm going to use that sauce and make a bit of a lasagna. So it's a nice wholesome treat. We can maybe pop our comfies on, head down in, in the cinema room for... A new series or movie or something so um yeah i'm actually really excited for that i think lasagna is one of my favorite meals anything italian to be fair but lasagna and garlic bread you just can't beat okay i feel like it's time to give you guys a bit of an update on the house so let me just get some shoes on i'll actually take you outside for this update i think i'll take you around the front are you coming yeah <laughs> So this is from the front of the property and essentially this section here is um, a big opening for what was going to be a garage. However, I've had a bit of an amendment on this in terms of just how we're going to finish off. So for now, ignore this section here. This will be finished at a later date and we're actually going to brick up that wall here so that we can carry on with the extension and start using it once it's done and then worry about this front of the property at a later date however you can see from this side that we have had the pointing we're in the process of having the pointing redone so this kind of side to the wall you can see how they've um gone in and cut out all of the old pointing 
and they have done the top section here so they've just removed the scaffolding today actually from this side section but you can kind of see at the top there how it's been repointed ignore all this white paint as well that's going to get um washed off but yeah from this side you can kind of see how the extension is forming we've got the um vaulted roof i have added in another window here into the pantry so let me take you around i'm gonna go around the back so this oh this upsets me so much it's such a building site and i have to say one thing i didn't realize is how much of a messy job repointing your house is i just didn't know i'll start here actually so this side hasn't been etched out yet i don't even know if that's the term look at all the mess dripping down the wall um so it's just stopped there obviously they can do this bit with just a ladder and they don't need the scaffolding up so they've kind of started from the top and working their way down so um yeah this is all the old pointing this from here backwards is the new extension but this wall because we wanted it to seamlessly run with the rest of the property is actually all brick taken from um inside here obviously these walls these old walls are like two layers so the external bricks have all been propped and we've used those bricks here just to make it run seamlessly because it's actually really hard to find a good match to these bricks because there's a lot of really red ones but then really black ones so it's like a complete mixture all of this section down into the cinema room needs sorting out as well so again that's kind of like one of the last jobs um to do to finish off so for now we just kind of keep those doors down there shut and don't don't even bother coming out here but it is going to just be steps up and out and then we're going to marry in those steps and match them up so you kind of walk in and you can either go down that way or down that way and then the garden is yet again an absolute tip absolute building site <laughs> it's actually quite nice that we've got this section over here that's just grassed and empty and it's always just i mean there's a couple of footballs from the neighbors <laughs> we always end up getting uh, the neighbors footballs and then barney ends up getting hold of them and destroying them <laughs> before i can get to them um but anyway these are the steps up in if you remember so this whole face of the um extension or like this back part is all just going to get rendered so that should be done pretty soon actually that and the coping stones have all been ordered they should be here within the next the coping stones the render that should all be done within the next few weeks i'd say um as for the actual extension again we've got a bit of scaffolding up at the moment but that should be coming down soon oh in fact if i zoom in you can see the top part here has been repointed so Obviously they need to like wash all the bricks down and everything, but that is what it looks like. It's just a lot fresher, brand new, and it's kind of like a yellowy sand color just to match in with the old. I feel like one piece of advice I would have with a renovation with an old property is do as much as you can to keep in line with the period of that property. I feel like it's a given, but um, I just feel like if you can go too opposite, it just look a bit out of place. Um, where's Barney gone? keep an eye on him because you can get out Barney oh you're there you're hidden behind the chair I didn't see you you okay good boy <laughs> you know when you have that panic moment of I can't see the dog where's the dog that is one thing that I cannot wait for to have these doors open and be able to just have him roam free and not be out here with him he can just come and go as he pleases with builders and stuff in in and out all the time there's gates open there's doors left open so it's really hard to contain the dog but anyway let me flip you around again so if you can visualize no scaffolding here all of this bit is going to be tiled we've ordered two doors to go here and here the crittle style we've only just put in the order for them and they take up to six weeks from about six weeks from now we should have these doors fitted which is at the point whereby pretty much this stage of the building work would be done it'd be watertight a watertight space all of this section here will be gone and the steels will be in so steels i'm pretty sure it is where i last left you off that the steels oh, i'm really shiny i don't know why <laughs> um the steels were the wrong measurement hence the pause on the renovations for a couple of weeks it's not that we've been on pause because things have been being done like obviously we finished off the basement repointing's getting done we're having people come and quote for like internal works for once this section has been done because the builders that we're using for this section are taking us to the point of having a 
a watertight space. We're then yet to decide who's going to finish off the job, whether it or not we have those guys to do it or the guys that did the upstairs they kind of work together though that's how we got introduced to the ukrainian team who have done this external work is from the guys that we had before so anyway um we'll probably use a mixture of the two probably but anyway that's that's something to sort at a later date um but the steels were wrong measurements they weren't necessarily wrong measurements they were ordered correctly off spec but the spec is what's wrong so we've had to go back well the builders have had to go back and forwards with structural engineers and have people come and do site visits and and check measurements and everything essentially the old steels that we had originally ordered were too heavy for the property so they've had to go and sort of like order smaller ones rejig where they're going to be which does mean we're going to have a couple on show um but it means that they that you know the building can support the steel so we are actually going to have to have i think a beam from this wall over to this section here which is why they've cut this bit out so we're going to have to box that that beam in essentially which we weren't going to do before and we were going to have well we are still going to have all of this open so i don't think it'll be too noticeable and then we were going to drop this ceiling to allow for that box kind of section for my filming room window at the back but actually i think we're just going to box that in and keep as much height where we can as possible and then as i said before we've had obviously these three spaces installed equally spaced out for the windows but i have added in a more narrow one for in the pantry which is here this one so if you imagine this is going to be the back of the wall in the pantry about two meters depth is the kind of space that we've allowed for the pantry because there's plenty of run along here for the kitchen and once this wall is gone the living space so i feel like i need to update you guys once the steels are in so we can see how the space actually looks and i've also been doing some mood boarding so i might actually do another mood board or two later on and show you guys how i do that because it's quite interesting to um be creative in that sense and see how I find I get motivated and more inspiration when I visualize it all on one mood board. So I've done it room by room. And then I looked back at the mood boards that I did for the rooms that we've already finished and they are very accurate. There's a lot of things that I've got on those mood boards that I've put in the rooms and it's come, my vision has come together. So yeah, I'm at the stage of creating mood boards for the future spaces that are yet to be finished. I'll show you how I do those later. I'm just gonna stand in the space so you can kind of get a gist of the size. Excuse what I'm wearing on my feet. This is just purely my building attire on my feet. I just use these sliders and just don't trash any other shoes basically. So I am in now what will be the kitchen living area. We've got, um, I might even pop a dining table. I don't even know if you can hear me. I might pop like some kind of a dining table in here, just like a more casual one. Living area over that section, obviously ignore all of these two walls because they will not be there. Um, and then this kind of leads down into the kitchen. We'll probably have an island around about here and then the kitchen units all along along this side here yeah. and then into the pantry at the end so hopefully that gives you a better understanding and idea and visual of the space Barney. <laughs> he's so funny let me see no he's off he's off so then back inside we're not looking any different just a little more cluttered i guess because we are prepping the house when these steels are going to go in so obviously all of this section here isn't going to be here so yeah we've just been sorting through some bits in this room taking bits down slowly and steadily all of these boxes are empty as are all of these so we've just yeah bit by bit day by day we've just been taking some down and starting to organize through bits but obviously there's still quite a bit to do there's quite a few bits to run to the charity shop as well We've got a big donation bin at our um tip so we tend to just drop it off in there but anyway i need to pop to tesco's i need to go and do a bit of a food shop and just get a couple more bits for the lasagna for tonight um so i might take you guys with me actually because i i've heard there's a few like autumn touches in tesco so we'll soon find out about that Dreamed about nothing else other than you. I always thought I'd be waiting, waiting in vain. But suddenly, there you were. 
Cause I can stay till the morning Or stay till the dawn But just hold me now I wanna be so much better Whenever you're around I wanna say something clever To get in your mind Guys, how cute is this? Pumpkin spice? And everything nice. This is just one of those like bags that you get on the checkout in Tesco, 75p. Had to uh, come home with me. I even took bags with me, but I thought, Do you know what? I'm gonna get one of those because it's too cute not to. So Tesco's was a success. I've just popped away like the essentials, the bread, the milk, all of that kind of boring stuff. But kept aside a couple of seasonal finds that I found that I thought you guys might want to try out for yourselves. Starting with, in fact, I'll start with the fridge and freezer bits so that I can go and run, run them downstairs. But from Strong Roots, who do those kind of like plant-based things, they do um, cauliflower hash browns, which I love. They're always in the freezer section. But these ones, the pumpkin and spinach burgers, thought these would be good for like a lunch with some salad or in an evening when it's just me and because I don't think Tom would have these. But you just pop them in the toaster. You can put them in the oven, but nice and easy from frozen straight in the toaster. And then I love soup at this time of the year. I just find it so wholesome with a nice chunky sourdough loaf, like thick slices of bread, you know. Um, so I got this one spiced butternut and inside here is one of you five a day and then i think i got another one i'm not sure if i've put it away or not oh no it's here this is just a tinned one so this is going to last forever but spicy parsnip and carrot a couple of birthday cards for my dad and brother okay you're either going to know what these are or you're not going to know what they are oat cakes like these oat cakes not the little biscuit oat cakes to me an oat cake is this just let me know if have you've tried on these because for me, the nostalgia of going to visit my dad's family up in the Lake District every single Christmas, sometimes in summer as well, we'd go up, make the long journey if like we were living down south at the time and they would always have these in the north, like in Booths, Sainsbury's, our Tesco's now does them. So North Staff's okay. Just pop like some cheese and ham in or whatever, I personally just pop a couple in the microwave for like 20 seconds, 30 seconds, slather some butter on them. I've got some light brown soft sugar for some baking. I feel like mellow and caramelly, ideal for moist sponges, biscuits and sweet sauces. Now that Bake Off is on, I just feel all the more motivated and inspired to do some autumn baking. I saw a recipe on Pinterest recently that I was like, I'm gonna have to try that. What was it? It was like some kind of a pumpkin and apple muffin or something like that with a cream cheese frosting. Delicious. So yeah, I've got that for some autumn baking. And then I also got this again for easy bakes, puff pastry. This is the light and flaky one. They've got on the front croissants, pan au chocolat. You could, I don't know, there's sausage rolls on the front. I was gonna say, or you could do savory sausage rolls. I made some gorgeous cranberry, pork and apple sausage rolls last year. It was more Christmas time that I do them. But for autumn, I feel like some nice wholesome pastries. Just an easy bake, so delicious because I'm such a pastry lover, honestly. They had a long aisle dedicated to all the Christmas chocolates. I'm talking mince pies, um, quality streets, advent calendars, they had the lot. So, I resisted because I thought it's a bit early for Christmas chocolate or else I am literally going to double in size before we even get to Christmas if I start buying all of the Christmas chocolates. However, a little hint of a Christmas Toblerone. I mean, it's not really a Christmas Toblerone, it's just a Toblerone. But for me, Toblerone is like a Christmas time thing. I don't know why. Um, but this, they now have the um, Toblerone in golden caramel. So I love caramel, any kind of like golden caramel chocolate, love. So I had to try that. I mean, there was one on the shelf, so it was like fate drawing me in. And then I got this granola, good for like on yogurts in the morning or for a dessert. It's quite nice to sometimes just have some fresh Greek yogurt with a drizzle of honey, some um, berries and some granola. So this one's cinnamon and pecan, delish. Gluten-free, high in fiber, vegan from Spoon. And then, last but not least, oh no, not last but not least, 
I got some um, squirty cream. I would just like to have this in for when it's hot chocolate season, especially as we've now got like the movie set up downstairs. I always make us a nice cozy drink before a movie. So I thought I would get some of that in for some hot chocs. I'm gonna get the Velvetizer back in action. Cause um, yeah, we've not had a hot chocolate for a while actually. So I'm gonna get that back to good use. And then for the homeware bits, I just picked up a towel. I thought I would go with this one. I know it's like autumn colors it's actually for Barney. So it's an ideal color for a muddy pup. I also picked up, couldn't resist, some Yankee Candle wax melts in the seasonal scents of Pumpkin Harvest. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this one I thought, oh, it's not gonna be me that. It's my favorite of the two. Pumpkin Harvest definitely has a bit of a spicier, yeah, a bit of a spicier smell to it. Whereas this one, Toasted Marshmallow, which I have had before, is quite sweet. Oh, it's got, it's got that smokiness to it though. That is everything that I got from Tesco's. I did come home to a couple of parcels though. Um, one of which, Galamuse. Gemma and Jamie, if you don't know them, have created Girl of Muse and it's, I've got quite a few bits from there now and honestly, I love each and every item. I just lived in the shorts in summer just for around the house, just so comfy. And she's got some new bits that she sent me. So first I see this Muse cap and then on the back it just says, be your own Muse. A three pack of these socks with just Muse on. So there's like a nice neutral sandy kind of color white and black and then i'll try this um outfit on actually they've sent um a top this is called the soul energy ribbed crop top in midnight black and then the leggings as well both of these are in a medium so i'll try them on so you can see what they fit like on me they feel lovely they feel really really thick and really great quality can you see the rib there so it's like a long sleeve crop top and leggings and I feel like these are going to be the top sellers the like shirts that they do it's like a flannel material so um they've sent me the I need to check if they do any other colors actually but this one is in sandstone in a small so they are already oversized no need to size it up and it's like a if you know that flannel fabric I want one of these in like a checked pattern because I just feel like that is all the autumn vibes to have a check shirt. But that is the kind of material it is. It's a really soft, cozy kind of shirt. I did just have a delivery of new Neptune Bro shirt. I ordered the autumn winter directory. I just need all the inspiration for our new kind of extension kitchen everything. This is the 2022 edition for autumn winter. So yeah, oh, just look at that. I feel like we looked at a bed like that for our master bedroom but it just didn't like fit quite right oh, the dream the dream so yeah i'm gonna have a flick through this later on i think and then go through the mood boards with you that i've created and i've said that already but i'm just repeating myself because i do that all the time but yeah you can order these for free just go on their website a bit like you do with the white company ones go down to the bottom brochure request something like that and you can find it and then i also got home to this this is just um like a a mailer from Hotel Chocolat but I've noticed they've got some new flavours for the Velvetizer I literally just mentioned the Velvetizer see I'm repeating myself again but they've got some flavours Black Forest Gatto, Maple and Pecan for this time of the year, Peanut Butter I want to get that one, Salted Caramel and Cafe Latte and then I didn't know this was coming actually this is for a brand that I've not come across before Amore's Beauty so they're stocked on look fantastic as well got a little gin glass and tonica tonica tonic water okay so they are supplements that they've sent you can have two gummies per day and this one is for it's got marine algae olive leaf extracts vitamin c how nice is that branding by the way gorge so thanks to them for sending me that right i'm gonna get these fridge bits back in the fridge and the freeze bits and then i'll try on that outfit with you from girl of news Smile. 
Okay, this is what the Girl of Muse bits look like on. I thought I would share with you whilst I'm doing a little try on. Um, cap, just an ideal for like, to me personally, I just, you know, like if you're running errands or if you just want to go on a dog walk and it's hair wash day, that's a cap kind of day for me. Um, this flannel shirt is perfect. I can't wait to wear this. I'm going to wear this loads. Um, small yeah stick true to size will go down a size in this one because it is nice and oversized as for the ribbed set officially the highest pair of leggings that i own these are so high and the waistband is that thick so yeah it kind of supports you around your tummy and kind of makes you give you gives you that hourglass kind of figure um, and then the crop top actually comes down over it we'll say that the leggings and the top i have in a medium and they were snug so i would say go up a size or if you're in between sizes go to the size up and um, once they're on they're fine but it's such a thick quality fabric that yeah to get them on and now that i'm on i'm so cozy and so warm so i feel like i actually might wear these more in winter than autumn it's still a bit hot for this however this shirt gonna live in it and then i've just paired it with the little muse socks these are the cream ones with the um my anina bing trainers yeah just like a running errands type outfit i feel very cool i feel like um yeah i feel like it's a cool outfit it's a cool brand it's a cool outfit for now i feel like i'm gonna get into my pjs take my makeup off and start make a start on the lasagna the lasagna because tom is going to be home within probably about an hour So, skincare done, PJs on, dinner consumed, feeling like I'm just going to chill here for the rest of the evening. Tom's just gone upstairs to shower, get into some comfies before we head down and watch a movie or some kind of series or something we haven't even decided yet. Down in the basement, I really want to watch, what's that new Harry, I was going to say Harry Potter movie coming out, Harry Styles movie coming out. It's kind of like Stepford Housewives thriller. Oh, what's it called? It's coming out in the cinema. Is it next week? Oh no, it's on Friday. Okay. Um, I've got to find out what it's called though. I just know it's coming out on the 23rd of September. Don't worry, darling. Oh, it looks so good. Anyway, I thought I would quickly just, um, I promise you I'd show you those mood boards that I have created. So let me get my laptop out and show, show you what's there. Tom's upstairs. I don't know if you'd need the Canva Pro to do this or not, but I, I use the um, I use Canva to do my thumbnails and stuff, so I do pay monthly for it. But this is my page for all of my mood boards. You can like kind of zoom in, zoom out. But yeah, that's our master one, which I actually just added that. Um, I had something similar on the mood board, but I added that ladder because that's the exact ladder that I've just purchased from Habitat. If you saw my White Company dupes video, this ladder is literally £9. I think it's £9.60 from Argos and I love it. Got it in our bedroom with a throw on it. Um, but yeah, these are the lights that we've got. Um, the light shade, the artwork is very similar to this. Bed is exactly that. I'm thinking where I've got a wardrobe currently of having some kind of sh a chair because that wardrobe just doesn't go. So I want to get rid of that wardrobe and maybe pop a chair in that space. So I've got that added to my mood board for now. Spare bedroom, we still just need to add a sliding door onto the ensuite. Um, but apart from that, that is kind of like the vibe that we've gone for in there. Main bath, again, very similar to what I've gone for. And dining room, I did this one the other day. So essentially what I do is I get an image online for something that I've either already got or an inspo image. So this um, 
cabinet here, this bookshelf, is from Cotswold Company, which is where our bed's from, and it's actually the same range as our bed, this one. However, we're probably going to do like a bespoke fitted floor to ceiling kind of inbuilt bookshelf in our dining room, but I do want it black. If you type black bookcase, it comes up with loads, and actually the Cotswold Company is the first one. It's probably because I've already clicked on it, but yeah. That's the image of the um, bookshelf. Now you can just, I personally just screenshot whether you, you want just the plain one. If you've got a Mac, it's Command Shift 4. And then that allows you to kind of get quite close and just outline what it is that you want to photograph. So say that's the image. You upload the image that you've just taken here once it's loaded click on it it adds it to your mood board and at the top there edit image and then background remover it's so easy to do and all that will do is just remove the background and have it as like a an image that is yeah just standalone so I've obviously already got that so I'm just going to get rid of that but that's how I've added that on and then I just again find images of like a linen tablecloth a vase um, a table how gorgeous is that for a dining table beautiful what else do I have the lounge I've just recently done this is um kind of the inspo we're either going to go dark or like a lime wash on the wall but either way I want accents of black in here so in the tv above the fireplace which we'll probably do which will literally be there so like a log burner there tv mounted onto the wall there I might do more book bookshelves either side or some kind of unit either side there and there and then with a white fire surround or some kind of light colored fire surround maybe a lick um or some kind of black paint, but I really liked that black. I think that's black 02. Some kind of coziness because we are going to be having wooden floors throughout all of here. All of this is getting ripped up, obviously, and we'll have like wooden floor running throughout the whole of downstairs. So I want some kind of coziness on this floor in here. And then this gorgeous sofa is from Loaf, which is definitely an inspo. Whether or not we go for a Loaf sofa or not, I don't know because they are kind of pricey. But that kind of colour and shape, oh, it's just, we went into the loaf store in Wilms and it, they honestly are so comfy. So that's the uh, mood board for their kitchen living space. Lots of textures again, I'm thinking antique brass, wooden stools, might put my olive tree in a basket in there, um, a wooden console or something. I'm actually looking at buying one of these for in the basement, like under the stairs. Marble worktops, the brass handles for the kitchen, this is the kind of parquet, not parquet, like a herringbone style flooring for throughout all of downstairs, including the kitchen. A little butler pantry mood board that I've started. So I've got my little Neptune mugs and pop them on the shelves. You see, you just find images online and just kind of copy and paste them into this document. Porch. I love the idea of having um, two doors in. So we've got the main front door, which we do have it set up like this currently. Main front door into the house with glass panels and things to get some natural light in. Um, and then on the interior, there's an, uh, another door into the house. So actually it's kind of like a porch area where we can have um, some kind of storage for boots and dog lead dog so with the cloakroom I feel like with a downstairs toilet you can go a little bit fun a little bit quirky I do definitely want to keep in line with the period of the property with the Victorian Edwardian kind of style sink and toilet and I thought we could do maybe like a half walled like panelled wall where it's like white or cream or whatever underneath and then on the top half have a wallpaper and I really liked the one that Lydia Millen used I know like Lydia Millen's like an inspo for our house but actually um this kind of style is very in fitting with the period of our property and this wallpaper I just particularly liked for like that kind of dark green I like the pheasant element I do like a country style interior so maybe a bit of artwork in there, some wall lights either side of a mirror, and again, this kind of like antique brass features, I just really like. So a uh, little Kubu wicker waste paper basket. Maybe um, have a different flooring in there as well. Maybe some kind of tumbled, um, what's it called? Limestone floor tiles, that kind of thing. But apart from that, oh no, there's the cinema room. I was gonna say, apart from that, it's done. Yeah, these are rooms that we've already done. The cinema room, utility. I definitely want to add some kind of station in the utility setup whereby I have 
hooks, which I've already got the hooks. I just need some kind of bench to put underneath. I really wanna find an antique bench or again with the console table, um, cause you can get them made, but I want it made to look really rustic like our little wooden stool we've got in our bathroom and in the utility as well. I just really like the rustic look rather than like a perfectly polished console or uh, bench. I quite like the texture. So yeah, any recommendations of maybe like Manchester places where I could maybe source a antique or charity find whereby I can get a bench like this, that'd be nice. But yeah, some kind of setup down there where I can put boots or like our wellies underneath the bench and my do berries, my wax jacket and all that kind of stuff down there in the utility room that we've got currently set up already. Oh, and then <laughs> I even had one for our storage room, which is basically these tubs from Home Bargains, these shelves that we've got from Amazon. I'm gonna get everything labeled up with my Dymo label printer. And this is even a photo of our Balsam Hill Christmas tree box, <laughs> which we've got down there for the Christmas tree. But yeah, that is everything. So that's how I do it. I just mix and mix around, like play around with um, popping the images and layering them up and it comes up with this. So anyway, that concludes today's vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed spending the day with me. Um, again, just a reminder for Cherries, thank you to them for working with me on today's video. Don't forget to take advantage of those discount codes. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you have. Subscribe for more. And I will hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.